Good morning. Thank you. Thank you to our friends from the media. Thank you to our key stakeholders that are here today. Um, we have a presentation on the topic of passenger rail for Peoria tonight at our, oh, good, okay, at tonight's city council meeting. But we wanted to give the media an opportunity to hear the information and the update in advance and uh, an opportunity to answer any questions that you might have. So thank you for coming. Many of you know that I've been determined to bring passenger rail to Peoria for a number of years. Peoria is the largest metropolitan area in the state without passenger rail. A little over six months ago, I teamed up with former United States Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood, and we agreed to work together to bring high-speed passenger rail to Peoria. And when I say high-speed, technically, high speed is about 200 miles per hour, <laughs> and nobody in the U.S. has that. So we're looking at higher-speed passenger rail, at least around 79, 80 miles per hour. Passenger rail that could get us from here to Chicago in a couple hours. We formed a group of about 20 key leaders and stakeholders to move our efforts forward, and we've been meeting at least once per month ever since then. Our committee is comprised of state and federal officials, including Representatives Jahan Gordon Booth and Representative Ryan Spain, Reps. Darren LaHood and Sherry Bustos, IDOT Secretary of Transportation, county officials including Chairman Andrew Rand, business and labor leaders, Bradley University, and several others. Our efforts have resulted in the following. The development of an initial case statement that helps to justify the case for bringing fast, frequent, and affordable trains to and from Peoria a vetting process that has resulted in the selection of a proposed train route, IDOT's awarding of a contract with Patrick Engineering, uh, the consultant firm that will um, actually handle and conduct the feasibility study, which actually started in December and is expected to conclude in April. The arrangement of meetings with top leaders of Amtrak and the FRA, which is the Federal Railroad Administration in Washington, D.C., and today's launch of a public survey to gauge interest and engage with the local community. We are making progress and gaining momentum. There's no time like now that we can tap into new federal and state funding and resources to make this a reality for Peoria. We have several speakers today that will provide important information and updates, and we'll be happy to, to take any questions that you have after that. But first, I want to read a statement from Secretary Ray LaHood. He's out of town today and um, unfortunately was not able to make it. Ray has been instrumental in opening new doors and building expanded support for this initiative. He states, I am honored and privileged to participate as co-chair with Mayor Ali and a distinguished committee of Central Illinois citizens to bring Amtrak passenger rail service to Peoria. Our work together will bring to reality the vision of Mayor Ali to, to enable citizens of Central Illinois to board an Amtrak train in Peoria and travel through Illinois and connect to other parts of our country. Ray LaHood. At this point, I'd like to turn the podium over to my colleague and city council partner in this effort, at large council member, Sid Recrico. Thank you, Mayor Ali, and thank you for putting together this really amazing group 
of community leaders to be able to bring this to fruition. There have been a lot of hours that have been put in to be able to bring it to this point. And it's hard not to think about when I moved here in 1992, one of the things that I heard from residents, um, no matter where I went, was the fact that rail service was missing. They remember the days of rail being in Peoria. And that conversation has never changed since then. Wherever I go, in whatever capacity, I, like my colleagues and like the mayor, keep hearing about the need and the desire for rail in Peoria. And so where we are at this point has been through a lot of hours, a lot of hard work, and we're on a very short time frame. You know, I, I think about the fact that rail, what does it mean for our area? It means economics. It means tourism. And it means quality of life. And really, when you really think what rail could add to our area, as another mode of transportation. It not only makes sense, it really makes dollars to our community. And I'm often asked, how can I help? What do you need? We've got a feasibility study going on right now, but now's where we need the public to really engage and have a voice. And so soon you will be seeing, within the next couple of days, posters like this all around the city. You will be seeing emails and uh, information being sent out via different websites, um, social media, and be around our city, our community, our region, that we need your input. There's a QR code right here, and there's also a website that we will be um, promoting a web address where we want residents to go on, on and fill in the information. Tell us how you would use rail. It is important that we collect this information as one more piece in the arsenal as we go to talk to Amtrak about bringing service back to Peoria. We think, actually, we know the desire is there. This information will help us on those future conversations. So we ask every resident to take the time to fill this out in your community groups, in your churches, in your friend groups. Wherever you go, make sure you talk about this because we're on a very short timeline and we know together as a community and as a region, we can bring this survey home. Thank you very much and thank you again to all the members of the committee. And next up will be Patrick Urich, our city manager. Thanks, Councilman. Thanks, Mayor. Um, I, I have the, the pleasure of of sharing with you a statement from uh, our Secretary of Transportation, uh, Director Omar Osman, who, who could not be with us today, but he did want to send this statement along, that the Illinois Department of Transportation looks forward to seeing the feasibility study is completed as quickly as possible in order to assess the potential of adding Peoria to the state's passenger rail network. The department will consider the results of the feasibility study in developing its future plans for passenger rail expansion. So the feasibility study that, that IDOT is, is undertaking is really trying to build off of two previous studies that we had put together in 2011 and 2013, one with the help of, of our next speaker, Eric Miller, and the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission. Uh, the effort is to try and gather some of that data and background information uh, to use to update that, to take a look at the, the proposed route, which you see up here on the screen, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But in addition to, to work on the public engagement side, to work on the survey that, that you see that Councilman Ruck Regal just mentioned, as well as to coordinate with stakeholders like the, the city and, and the working group that we have. And that goal is to have that study completed by April. So the route that we're looking at is, is as you see up here on the screen, uh, it follows the route of the old Rock Island rocket line, which would uh, follow, take Peoria north uh, along the Illinois River up to LaSalle, Peru, in through Ottawa, and then Morris into Joliet and then into Chicago. So um, this route is the, is the route that we're looking at. It's the route that we're trying to examine. Uh, what it also does, obviously, in addition to opening up Peoria to passenger rail, it opens up those communities of LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa, and Morris uh, that currently don't have uh, passenger rail access as well. So um, that's the current route that we're looking at. We have also been uh, fortunate to receive another grant from uh, the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission uh, to do some additional study, and I'm going to turn the, the microphone over to Eric Miller, uh, the Executive Director of the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission, to discuss that.
Thank you, Patrick. Uh, Tri-County Regional Planning Commissioner, as uh, Patrick mentioned, is, has been a strong supporter of passenger rail and still is a strong supporter of passenger rail in the Peoria region. Uh, we have conducted numerous studies and presented numerous proposals to restore this vital transportation service. Uh, with the leadership of Mayor Ali and Secretary LaHood, uh, it gives me great confidence that this project will be successful. Tri-County Regional Planning Commission is the federally designated metropolitan planning organization for the Peoria region. As part of the requirements for the MPO, TCRPC prepares plans and programs with the assistance of its members communities, including the city of Peoria and Peoria County. Uh, today, I'm proud to announce that a portion of FY22 budget has been set aside for a project that will study the location of a multimodal center that will serve passenger rail and potentially other modes of transportation. Uh, TC hire, TCRPC will hire a local consultant to perform this study uh, with assistance from the city and other regional stakeholders. Uh, the, the, st the scope of work will have four components. Uh, the transportation center site selection uh, will identify at least three alternatives in the Peoria, uh, downtown Peoria area that's, uh, uh, prox that has proximity to the rail and uh, probably close to the river. Uh, we'll, come, we'll do a multimodal analysis. Uh, we'll work with other uh, providers of transportation, including the Greater Peoria Mass Transit District, uh, to see how these services would interact with each other. Uh, we'll do an, an economic impact analysis, uh, determine if transit-based or development opportunities exist and would be supported by these activities. And finally, it'll have a public engagement and component which will actively engage uh, the public with feedback on potential sites. Uh, this study will be done in four to six months, uh, hopefully to coincide with the, the, uh, the work that the, the Illinois Department of Transportation is doing. Uh, with that, I will introduce uh, Mr. Joshua Gunn, President and CEO of the Peoria Area Chamber of Commerce and CEO Council. Joshua. Thank you, Eric. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am uh, excited to be here, honored to be here, and privileged to be here uh, announcing the pursuit of something that I think is tremendous, and that is the return of passenger rail to the greater Peoria area. Uh, I want to first applaud the leadership of Mayor Ali and Secretary LaHood on this effort, as well as all the mem members of this committee. It's been a, a pleasure to work with you so far on something that I think is a vital effort. Uh, the Peoria Area Chamber of Commerce is thrilled to, to support this effort. Uh, I believe this is a critical step to uh, in encouraging a, a vital or a vibrant economy here in Peoria, uh, as well as a connected economy. If you look over here, there's a, a vision statement that I, I thought was pretty appropriate. It's the City of Peoria Vision 2029, uh, and the third line is Peoria 2029 has a strong economy, uh, which we, of course, advocate for at the Chamber, but there's another word in all caps there, and that's connectivity, right? This is uh, about connectivity not only within the Peoria area, but within the state of Illinois, and really the broader uh, super region of the Midwestern United States, and I look forward to the time when Peoria can once again be a hub uh, and a destination for business, for visitors, and uh, for economic boom. Uh, that will certainly be the result of this passenger rail service. So we uh, at the Chamber and the CEO Council are thrilled to support this effort, and I look forward to working along with Mayor Ali, Secretary LaHood, and this committee on bringing this important effort uh, to the greater Peoria area. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, our co my colleague, J.D. D'Alfonso, President and CEO of Discover Peoria and the Peoria Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. J.D.? Thank you, Joshua. Thank you for everybody here today. Um, again, I, I was going to start with a, a number of thank yous, but many, many of them have been said, particularly the committee, uh, being able to sit around, invite around the table to talk long-term visions for the connectivity to Peoria has been a real honor and a privilege to sit around and really move the needle as to the conversation and bringing rail back to uh, central Illinois. Uh, that being said, as the head of our destination organization for Discover Peoria, it's, it's an honor and privilege to represent such a diverse region spanning seven counties with uh, Peoria being a, a large anchor to that economic driver. Uh, that being said, so much diversity when it comes to urban, rural, and Peoria really, and, and the leadership around this table, bringing such a large discussion to another means of transit to uh, our central Illinois and outward. Uh, it's been uh, really interesting to see so many of our elected officials and entities 
the city, county, uh, federal, local, um, and state levels come together for this incredibly bipartisan effort to bring uh, rail. And I, I thought about that in the sense that with this effort and the participation from the community and the region at large, we get to bring uh, the discussion back for rail to be able to provide uh, residents and visitors alike the opportunity to access central Illinois by plane, train, automobile, and even within our riparian lifestyle by boat. And I think that adds a lot to the discussion as to why we need this feedback uh, moving forward as this is, we have a rich um, destination is a true economic driver. And prior to the, uh, the pandemic hitting, I like to remind people of the, the strong economic uh, status we were from the tourism standpoint of, of generating more than 680, uh, $686 million in domestic travel tourism spending to the region. Uh, and that's a large number that we're creeping back as we recover from COVID. And, and the more access we have for visitors and residents alike to access central Illinois, uh, the better it is for that economic driver moving forward. And, and many of us in this conversation can think about how rail can benefit our residents here. Uh, but from our standpoint, we're also thinking of the visitors along this, this route, uh, LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa, Morris, Joliet, New Chicago, to access Peoria and central Illinois all the same. So we could be using this to get to those destinations, but many of the residents along those, this, this route can access Peoria as well through this new and what I call a safe and convenient way of travel, uh, whether that's traveling with kids or retired or any lifestyle and socioeconomic status, they can access uh, our, our great uh, river city uh, through this route. And from the Bureau standpoint, this is a, it's an incredible opportunity uh, to really uh, advance this in any way possible. And you have our support in getting the message out, particularly to our stakeholders uh, and our partners and any residents we can access through our, our means of communication to push out that survey uh, and that feedback is that'll be incredibly uh, important for our steps moving forward. So with that, I'll wrap up and just saying thank you again to everybody in the leadership around this table and for all of you here today to help spread this message and good news for the entire region. So with that, thank you. And I uh, just want to commend Mayor Ali again for making this a priority and bringing this to fruition. And I'll invite the mayor back up to close out her remarks. Thank you. Thank you, JD, and to everyone who spoke this morning. I did want to point out that the survey is only 10 questions, and it sh should take very little time for people to complete it. Uh, Janet, have you estimated about how long it might take to complete the survey? Two and a half what? Two and a half minutes. Everybody has two and a half minutes to give. So uh, we're asking everyone to participate take two and a half minutes to complete this survey. Uh, Janet is with Images. Um, they're a subcontractor to Patrick Engineering and uh, they provide the, the marketing and support, um, communication and support. So thank you for being here, Janet. So at this time, uh, we can answer any, or try to answer any questions that you may have. Chris? That is correct. <laughs> Chris, before you go there, let me say that this route was built, built many years ago for high speed rail up to 100 miles per hour, which for the time that it was built, that was extremely rare. So, yeah. Yes. Janet? And one of the things that we're asking with the survey is, it is not one per household. It is really one per resident. We, we would like everybody in the household to take the time to be able to fill it out. 
because there may be competing interests within a household. There may be competing um, usage uh, within a household. And so we really want to hear from everybody. And this is not just the city of Peoria or the county of Peoria, but really our whole region. We want to make sure that we hear from everybody. Um, so if you are within you know, a drive time of Peoria, make sure that you take that, that survey. And if you're a visitor here and you come across this, your input is equally as important. So we're working with the other communities to reach out to them and, and to, to inform them about this effort. We started here in Peoria first, and we'll be rolling that out as we continue to work with them as we start to, to um, roll out this survey and, and start to talk about the need for everyone along the route to fill it out. have that number yet, Chris, what we are um, planning for, one, we're going to get after the, at, at the end of the survey, we'll have high level cost estimates for this route. We are seeking federal infrastructure funding to support this effort. Um, we, are, we will also be seeking state funding to support this effort. We don't know at what level, you know, local funding will need to, to kick in. There will be a ridership uh, assessment study at the, it's near the latter part of the feasibility study. So I don't, I'm not sure whether that happens in February or happens in March, but there will be a ridership study. The, there is no right-of-way acquisition needed. There may be some right-of-way acquisition needed for the station location, depending on where that is, but, but as far as the rail, it's still active rail. So you have, you have the um, Taswell and Peoria rail route, um, and then the L Iowa interstate, and then it's the CSX lines that run over to Joliet. So all of that are, are active rail lines right now. Well, I think that that's, again, that's something that would come out of the feasibility study that we'd have to look at. So I don't know if we have an answer yet for that, that question. This is a region. This is a regional survey response is what we're looking for. So we're looking for everyone in the Peoria metro area to respond and, and talk about if, you know, let us know how they feel about the, the, the need for, for rail service. Would they take it? Where would they like to go? All of those are the questions that we're asking. We have meetings set up with um, the leaders, top officials at Amtrak. We have meetings, uh, a meeting that will be set up with top officials at the FRA here shortly as well. Uh, they're based in D.C. Um, and Fortunately, Ray knows all these people and is able to get in the door that way. Uh, but we know that we're going to need to apply for funding, uh, likely competitive funding, and planning grants. So the next step, I would think, is an application for a planning funding. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I don't, I don't think so. I mean, Bloomington Normal is doing very well. Galesburg is doing very well in terms of their passenger rail. They do have ridership from Peoria. I, I take the train. I travel to Galesburg or to Bloomington sometimes to get on the train. And sure, they would likely lose that uh, ridership. But I, I think it's strong enough to still support, uh, the ridership is still strong enough to support those communities. So I don't see it as, as a real competitive issue. Not from my understanding. Um, it, it would, I think it looks at ridership as far as Peoria passenger rail, but I don't think it looks at uh, taking away from, from Bloomington. I think that you know anywhere along the rail line is, is the areas that we would certainly look. I think you know you obviously there's the old Rock Island Station, which is which is located right on the riverfront. The, that's a city-owned building that's currently under lease, but that's you know one aspect that we could look at. Um, as uh, Mr. Miller said, as we're looking at multimodal, we want to look at other connectivity that we have inside uh, our transportation network in the city. So that's important as well. Um, and we'll continue to look at where the, the best locations are, but it, it's certainly going to probably be along that, that, that current rail line that we have. It's something we'll certainly consider. We are not looking to connect with the Bloomington line. That was a previous study. Uh, we want to have more of a direct um, gateway and um, pathway to a larger city uh, that can connect to other cities around the country. And this route gives us that opportunity. So we're, we're not looking at just uh, uh, going from Peoria to Bloomington to get on the Amtrak. That, that was 100% agreed upon by our committee, that that's not what we're looking for. Well, I think that cost has been a big deterrent. Just the thought of how much it may cost um, has outweighed, I think, the effort. So it's a new day, and we have new leadership and a strong interest in uh, bringing this as an economic opportunity for Peoria, also as access. Uh, it provides access. Everybody doesn't have a a car or a vehicle. Uh, transportation is key to uh, social, uh, business, and other opportunities. So, you know, I, I, I don't want to look back. I want to look forward. And uh, the funding is a real opportunity for us now with the new bipartisan historical infrastructure deal. This stays on the west side of the road. Yep. <laughs> Something about the bridge over the river is, is said to be pretty costly. Um, uh, thank you. Um, incredibly. Uh, we, I've had the, the um, opportunity to sit down with meeting planners as we've gotten back to meeting face to face. And uh, as my uh, sales managers and myself were able to sit down, we t get to talk about Peoria, Illinois, uh, in our region. The first question is, how do you get there? It's the first question. And we talk about the direct flights uh, to our airport. We talk about the interstate. Uh, we talk about uh, and drive distance, uh, particularly to our larger metropolitan areas in other states. This as an incredible convenience, particularly to those that uh, can fly into Chicago and take a train or fly it back down, uh, just adds another instance to where we can sell the opportunity to come to Peoria in a more, like I said, safe, convenient way. 
uh, that provides an additional experience along that route. So knowing that that is the first question we answer when talking about bringing business to Peoria, um, it's incredible, bene incredibly beneficial for us to have this, this route down the road or down the rail, excuse me, thank you. Um, thinking about that question, I think, you know, we see Bloomington uh, Normal being an incredibly robust community uh, with the economic de uh, uh, development that's been done with Rivian. And I think uh, my colleague in Galesburg, he's incredibly proud of uh, the tourism and the opportunity in Galesburg as well. I don't see it as much of a competition as we've had some strong communities, um, but uh, I'm not sure it's we've kept a focus on being the largest metropolitan area and providing that access to, uh, to the state and the world uh, from, from central Illinois. Representative Darren LaHood, who also represents Bloomington, and he talks about how Bloomington uh, Passenger Rail was a game changer for that community. But he's he wants Passenger Rail in Peoria, so he's he's not concerned that it will have a negative um, impact to the detriment of Bloomington Passenger Rail. Any other questions? So I just want to close by saying that what we have is a commitment, a commitment to try to bring passenger, higher speed passenger rail to Peoria. And there's a, a, a poet uh, that, I can't name that poet, but there's a poem that I remember that talks about commitment. And once you have commitment, that all the resources of the universe come together to make that thing happen. And that's what I believe about this level of commitment about bringing passenger rail to Peoria. We are committed, we are, are moving forth with a strong effort, and um, I hope and pray it turns into a reality for Peoria. So thank you very much.